beautiful people welcome back so for today's video you guys we are just gonna sit down we're gonna talk about new makeup releases and it's gonna be a good old-fashioned purchase or pass and videos like these I love to do them I put them up every two to three ish weeks and I'm doing this video because I just got done <laughs> okay I just got done filming this face which if you missed it I tested out everything that I recently picked up in a beautylish haul and I will link that video right up here but I just got done filming this video and let me tell you okay if, if you missed that video oh, oh, what a ride um and I just I've come out of it with like so much sassitude and so much just like mm, like I'm just feeling some kind of way and I thought there would be no better time um than when I'm feeling some kind of way for us to sit down and talk about all the new makeup launches and I can give you guys just my my straightforward my clear-cut thoughts and opinions so if you like this video if this is your style you're into stuff like this definitely uh stick around obviously we're gonna get into it here in just a second but before we get into that I do like to pause introduce myself if you are new here my name is Paige this is Seeking Alexandria welcome to the channel I do put up three new videos a week Monday Wednesday Friday right around 7 7 30 ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan and then also if you haven't heard okay the, the if you haven't been around maybe maybe just the word on the street let me put it this way the word on the street okay is that I Paige I am trying to hit 10,000 followers over on Instagram so if you haven't done so yet I would greatly appreciate it if you would take a second go follow me over there everything will be linked down below um I'm really into a little bit of everything and I actually is as of recent like in the last month I've really been upping my game to put out not only new content but new types of content so every day like in the day-to-day -day feed you'll see in my insta stories I like to hang out I do unboxings I talk about all the random things we hang out in the office and that's where I just love to you know have like one-on-one -on -one time with you guys and take you through my day-to-day -day life for me in the feed is where I get even a little bit more artsy and have a little more fun with it I do uh, makeup inspo like photos makeup reels makeup IGTV videos mini makeup reviews I do like little hauls sometimes I did a bath and body works haul that was pretty fun and then I've also been getting into like plus size fashion just kind of having fun with the photography end of it and so there, there really is a little bit over there you know there's stuff for everyone I like to have fun with uh, all of the different things but I don't know it's just kind of the place where I always point you guys to if you like me you like my personality and you want to hang out more outside of this sphere right here with the lights and all the stuff um that's definitely the place to catch me so everything will be listed again I'm trying to hit 10,000 followers and I would greatly appreciate it if you would check me out and uh, follow me and from there let's go ahead let me just let me just grab a little a little sip of my diet coke that's right that's light ice, honey, light ice. And we are gonna get started because I'm ready to be sassy. Yes, please. I almost just chucked my damn phone all the way into the next dimension. Ooh, that would have been a disaster because I would have had to get up and we both know I don't want to. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and kick this video off on a positive note. And this is a new, look at me. I'm like, I know it's gonna get dicey later on. So let's just like, let's just like ease into it. Um, and this one is from Juvia's Place. This is their new Wahala 2 eyeshadow palette. And it has 30 eyeshadows in it. It's just beautiful. Obviously, you can see it, but it is a beautiful, poppy, bright arrangement. Pick this one up because I felt like the arrangement in here was really nice. I love the color choice, and I'm actually really drawn to the multiple finishes in here. It looks like they have matte, shimmer, they have glitter, and I really like that there are certain ones, like what does that say? There's goals, and that looks like a really beautiful, vibrant kind of blue turquoise glitter, you know, mixture in there. And I appreciate the fact that that's in here alongside a turquoise shimmer and a matte blue, you know, and then over here you've got this orange and this hot pink and I just feel like this is going to be such a beautiful fun palette and uh, don't get me wrong am I absolutely terrified to play with it because I haven't done color in a very long time yes but I also think it's going to be just a fun little exploratory moment and uh, Juvia's Plates they just they put out beautiful products they uh, they have great formulas um if you've never tested their eyeshadow I highly recommend it they have a ton you can choose from and uh, I just I really like it so I picked it up and I think it's beautiful and uh it looks like what is it retail for $38 for 30 shades and you can get 10% off here. I'm on Trend Moods page and if you use their code, you can get 10% off. So you can even get a discount and it's really good. So just, you know, fun facts all around. I picked it up. Uh, it'll be coming soon. I'm not sure where. Here, Instagram, I, I tend to, you know, put new products across both pages. So stay tuned um, everywhere because I'll be using it. It's going to be beautiful. All right. So next up, let's just get shady for a second because I just, um, I, I literally, I can't physically roll my eyes, okay, any harder into the back of my damn head. Um, I am just... Uh, Maybe it's just because I'm like a little bit spiced about the fact that I've been burned by them so many times. But Makeup Revolution, I'm sorry, XX Revolution, Makeup Revolution, um, they came out with their new, what is this, their Dripping Gold collection. 
<laughs> no thank you okay i have tried <laughs> and again I, and i say this as someone i'm not gonna say this collection is good or bad i'm not gonna try it and here's my thing the reason i'm so salty i have seen so many beautiful ad campaigns from them and i mean like huh, like like they, they have come out with packaging that i'm just like oh my god and and photos like this where i'm like Ugh! i just i can't function because i in my mind i need them so bad so i get them and then i'm like all hyped up and i'm like oh yeah we're gonna love it we're gonna we're just gonna get right into it and i am telling you okay it is some of the shittiest makeup I've ever used. And so now I'm just kind of in this place where I see, I see them. Like I, I see you over there, like doing your beautiful ad campaigns and I see all the good stuff and I just can't do it. Okay. I can't, my heart can't take it. My heart will no longer go on. Okay. Like Celine, Celine Dion said, she just, my heart will go on. It will not, it will die right here and now because I can't take any more disappointments from you. Uh, XX revolution or whatever revolution you're going to be today. I can't do it. No, I got to go. No. All right. So next up, can we just talk about something that just really, it touches my soul in all the right places. Okay, this is quite quite a shift from the last one. Uh, but this is the new ColourPop Stone Cold palette, and oh, I just think it looks so beautiful. Um, I love everything about it. I love the color story. I love that it goes like this beautiful gradient from like light to deep colors and all of the cool tone kind of taupey moments in between. Like I'm just here for it. And I feel like, and I'm just kind of in my purview, I, I'm really excited to be cooler tones like this, kind of making a little bit of a resurgence. And I feel like, at least for me, this started happening after I was playing or you know after I'd played around with the Natasha Denona glam palette for a while which by the way if you missed it didn't I just talk about this in a video yes I did I think it was in the the Sephora VIB sale I'll link it up here um I, I just oh I feel like these tones and colors people are just all of a sudden kind of coming back around to them and kind of falling in love and I am one of those people because not only do I have the glam palette from them but I also have actually from Juvia's Place uh it's their newer palette I don't know where it is but it's like their taupe palette or whatever and that is a beautiful palette where the hell is that palette I literally just had it I just used it the other day and I don't know where it went okay so that's gonna drive me absolutely crazy but I just picked up that palette from Juvia's Place as well and it is so beautiful um, I'll make sure it's linked down below if you want to check it out I think it's like a six or a nine pan palette and just like I said with their last palette the the shades or their the quality of their shadows are beautiful but I'm really happy to see this this cool tone kind of moment you know coming back around full circle and this is one that I hadn't planned on picking up like I was kind of like mm, eh, eh. um but then I saw who the hell was it somebody was using it on camera I watched I watched so much makeup crap you guys I can't even keep track anymore but I was watching somebody use this did Bailey Sarian use this? I don't know. Anyways, I was watching somebody and it just applied and it looked so great. And I was just like, <gasps> and so now I'm kind of like wondering, maybe I need it. Like maybe I just need to like go and just get my little fingers on it. Um, so I might have to pick this up. I just, I might have to, um, you know, I, I might have to, you know, by the way, what do you guys think? Have you picked this up? Cause by now it's been out for a hot minute. Um, when did this come out? This was, oh, October 22nd. So some of you guys, I mean, I know ColourPop, their shipping is slow as hell, but you know, maybe some of you guys have tried it. Like, what do you, what do you think? What's going on? What's the tea here? Um, do you like it? Do you not? Sound off down below. All right, guys. So next up, we have the Fenty Skin. This is the Overnight Recovery Gel Cream. And with this one, okay, uh, where do I start? <laughs> I've got so much going on on my face right now. Um, with this, I'm, I'm not intrigued even in the slightest to test it. And for me, I think it's because I've, I've tested out or I am testing out their, um, it's the toner thing that they came out with, their fat water or whatever it's called. And I t I've been testing that out. And just between that, like my experience with that product and the other like reviews and things that I'm seeing about Fenty Skin, I'm really not seeing anything about it that's like overly beneficial or really that would help skin like mine, you know, more oily skin, acne prone, texture scarring, stuff like that. And so I'm not really drawn to it. And I feel kind of bad. And I, I really did feel bad at first even saying anything about it because not, I didn't feel bad, but I felt weird because my old thoughts on uh, skincare, like my old skepticism was that if it came from a, a brand that primarily had done makeup um, and then they switched over to skincare, like it just, it wasn't for me. I always kind of felt like the skincare just wasn't like, it wasn't driven by skincare. So there there was no way that it was going to really like be effective on my skin. And so, uh, but as of recently, I've actually had to, you know, kind of reroute that completely because I am now obsessed with the wishful line that Huda Beauty put out. And so I, I catch myself kind of in between and I've even talked to you guys. I'm very open. Like if I'm wrong about something, I'm wrong. And I was wrong about wishful skin. Like I was talked some mad shit about it way back when it first launched. And I was like, oh, you know, it's launched by Huda. She does makeup just like I'm saying with this. And I think, you know, after I tested it out, like I was so blown away by 
how good it was and how consistently good it has been. Um, that going into this, I feel guilty saying like, oh, it's not for me. But the difference between the two is that with Huda, with Wishful, I gave that one a shot. You know, I tried, I think I tried first the little exfoliating, the um, Yoglo exfoliator. And that was kind of my gateway, if you will, into Wishful. And I really loved it. And from there, I tried other products. Whereas with Fenty Skin, I started off with what, what I thought would be the safest of them all, which is the, um, I picked up the fat water toner stuff. And I just, I really haven't been like that impressed with it. I've been using it very consistently for a while. And I just don't really see like any real oomph from it. Whereas, like I said, with the Wishful one, I noticed a difference like immediately. I really liked it and I enjoyed the product. And so I, ju I just wanted to kind of clear that out because I know in the past I've been skeptical. And again, I'll always come back and tell you guys if I'm right, if I'm wrong, I, I don't have any problem saying it. Opinions change. That's what happens. But with this, I'm just kind of like, ugh, because I haven't really seen any redeeming anything <laughs> from anybody on this stuff, um, especially people with skin like me that need that refinement. We need the extra TLC with the pores and the oil and the acne and stuff like that. So for me, this is just, that, that was just a long way to say it's a pass. It's a pass from me. It's a pass. All right. So here's a good one. Um, I love that my arm goes out every time I want to talk about something. I'm just like, stop, stop the train. Okay. We need to talk about it. Um, but this one, we, we really need to stop the train. Uh, cause on November 3rd, a little, little delicious November 3rd, it looks like we are going to have a launch from Sephora, which actually when you guys are seeing this, it will have already, it will already be out. But, um, this is going to be the new Natasha Denona holiday palette. Her, what is this even called? I don't even know what it's called. Oh, the tri, the triochrome palette. Wow. That, that's a name. Um, but this palette, you guys, I, oh, <laughs> when I tell you, I am like next level excited. Okay. I already love Denona and I love, like I said, love that glam palette. I love so many of her other palettes, but this one, like the fact that it comes with little drippy, little duochrome, trichrome situations, <sighs> I just cannot contain, <laughs> cannot contain myself. So this palette, it's a hundred percent going to be mine. And I, I fully recognize, by the way, the fact that it retails for a, <sighs> I'm sorry, choked $129. Like actually, I'm sorry, I just vomited a little. Um, and I, and I recognize that that is just a lot. Um, so I, I definitely, you know, if you guys are wanting to jump on it too, obviously I'll have it linked on launch day. You can shop it. It'll be in the community section, which by the way, just as a really quick pause, I just want to say this made me think of it. I put up my Sephora VIB, which actually, Hey, this will still be going on. Won't it? This'll be live when the Sephora, when the Sephora sale goes live, honey bunches, y'all get yourself this on sale. Um, but I wanted to say, um, in kind of about that Sephora sale because I put that video up and I was really nervous to put it up because I wasn't sure like how you guys, you know, would feel about it, how it would be received. And I, I feel like if anything, you guys have been so sweet and I just wanted to say thank you for that. Thank you for the kindness and for all the sweet words and for, I just almost threw my phone again, um, but just for all the kindness that I've gotten in regards to that and you guys like saying, hey, like we want to shop through your links, like anything we can do to support. And I want you to know that I really appreciate that and I see it and I haven't like said it in a video yet because I just it hasn't really fit, but yeah, I just mentioned, you know, this one and linking it in the community tab. And my first thought was like, oh man, people are going to be pissed. And if anything, I feel like now that you guys know it's there, like I've had people send me DMs and say, Paige, like, are you going to link this? Cause I want to use your link or, Hey, have you put this up yet? I'm not seeing it. And I just, I want you to know that I really appreciate that because without that kind of support, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be able to do what I do. Um, and I, I sure as hell wouldn't be able to buy a $129 palette to review. And I just, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank Thank you for all the kind words and for being so supportive and for really being so supportive of that video um, and just all, all of the awesome that I'm hoping, you know, comes from it, not only for um, me, but for the channel and for the growth of it and just really helping everything to move forward. I just, I don't know. I really appreciate it. And I wanted to say it to you guys, you know, face to face or whatever, <laughs> whatever this is. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you. So thank you for that. I'll have this linked in the community tab, obviously when it goes live. But anyways, back to the, back to the, the situation here. Um, I am so excited about this. Yes, I will be purchasing it. Oh, I will so be purchasing it. Um, and it says that it comes with three new futuristic multi-chrome pigments in the center of each row and their complementary matte eyeshadow tones to complete a whole makeup look. Perfect to create a multi-dimensional look with a variety of textures and shades, uh, maximum color payoff, minimal effort, blending seamlessly to achieve vibrant, ultra pigmented, long lasting looks. Yes, please, honey child, bring it home to me. And I cannot wait. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Also really quick, by the way, can we just 
talk about innovation and can we talk about how freaking how much I love this packaging I you guys I cannot with this packaging okay beauty bakery of course of course beauty bakery the best packaging um they came out with their new or they revealed rather their new sugar stick lip liners and I just wanted to say I think these look so great and as, as a child you know as, as a happy little northern Michigander um when I wasn't sucking on little honey sticks which by the way if you live in any rural area how good is a honey stick like a nice little teeny tube of honey just just suck it and it's so good you suck it and it's so good <laughs> Oh, probably could have used any other word and it would have been great. But um, moving past, I, I I just wanted to say, like, I had a whole moment when I looked at these. Like, I saw my childhood, me going into the ice cream store. They always had these little crystallized candy stick sugary goodness things. And I am just so excited. Like, Beauty, Beauty Bakery, I feel like they make me excited to try their products. And, and I, you know, I've been pretty fair with them across the board. Things I love, things I hate, things that I think are, you know, just okay. And with them, I feel like the one thing, no matter what, even if the product, I'm just like, oh, I don't need a lip liner. Um, but now, and because they're $18, it says that they are water resistant, no sharpening needed because they're, uh, you know, the kind that rolls up. Uh, they're long lasting, rich in pigment. They prevent lipstick from feathering or bleeding and they're $18 a piece. And, you know, even if I'm kind of like, oh, I don't need an $18 lip liner. Well, guess what, bitch? Now I do need an $18 lip liner because I think they're beautiful and I want to, <laughs> I just want to eat them because they look delicious. Granted, they're not going to taste like sugar and I recognize that, okay, but the inner girl, like the the inner little ice cream fat loving little page that loves sugar um she's in by by inner loving little i mean 31 year old version of her love sugar as well um i'm very very excited to actually use those i think the packaging is adorable and i think they know what they're doing with packaging yes all right so next up you guys why don't why don't we just talk about mac just really briefly um this is their new frosted firework collection for their holiday 2020 campaign and i was on board okay i'll just i'm gonna be honest i was on board for all of it okay i think the lipsticks the packaging uh because with MAC, we all know a lot of times they just use the same formula over and over, but they do reinvent the packaging and they try to make it look more beautiful and more sparkly, whatever, right? Um, and that that's whatever, okay? That, that's up to them, their brand, you know, their rules. But the one thing, okay, the, let me just put this down, okay? Let me just put this down. Um, the, oh, it actually cracked. Um, the one thing that I just cannot get behind, okay, and like I can't... Now that I, I've like focused in on it, it, it like makes me violently upset. Um, that freaking eyeshadow palette, like the, the if you just if you just look at it, okay, the palette itself it's like this damn big. And you know what they did? Like instead of putting nice little shadows in there and just filling them up and like filling all the cracks and the crevasses and putting them in in order, oh no, that would be too easy. Instead, they took the shades and just went. Wah, and just chucked them at it and just wh where they stuck is where they landed and half of the damn palette doesn't even have any shades and I know you know like, to me I look at it and I get what they were trying to do okay they have like this one big shade they tried to make it into a little sunburst like ooh, I love a good sunburst I, I, I post photos of sunbursts all the time they're great but like this palette <sighs> like words cannot d describe how irritated it makes me because not only not only are the shades not the same size, okay, like you got this one big ass one, then these little ones, and then the in-between ones, and it's just, it's too much chaos. It's too much chaos, but then also to double down with that, now they're just all, you know, willy-nilly in there, and you, you, you just all of a sudden use space. You could've, you could've put something in there. You could've, you could've at least completed the sunburst and given me more shades or something. See this hand? Do you see what this hand, this hand is doing this because it wants more. <gasps> it wants more, and it doesn't get more from this. I just, no, it's a pass. That palette, I would've, you know, I could consider the other things, because I actually think they look quite beautiful. Um, especially there's like this shiny ass highlight that I'm kind of like, mm, about. But that damn palette, <laughs> I just... It makes me violent. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. All right. Yeah, we we should really we should really talk about this. Okay I, I think by the way, I'm pre pretty sure at this point. This is already launched. Yeah, October 26th This has been launched for a hot minute now, but we still need to discuss this new leopard collection by Kylie Do you hear me Kylie cosmetics you guys? I'm sorry. I, I want to know. I, I want to be Can we just like picture it? Okay, picture it Sicily 1922. Um, who in the hell? And by two, 1922, I mean 2020. Who was sitting in this pitch meeting, okay? Who who was sitting there with Kylie? And they were like, hey, hey, babe, we got this great idea. And she's like, what? And they were like, well, we, we think we have an idea for a new collection. And we're thinking animal. And she goes, I'm listening, okay? Because, you know, she's got like that, that sultry stare that she has, okay? And so she says, I'm listening. And then they proceed to pitch to her this leopard collection. Now, in theory, okay, if you were to just hear leopard collection, you'd be like, ooh, okay, like it's going to be, you know, like more neutral. It could have some fun pops. We could definitely work on something with packaging and design. 
line, maybe come out with a few new um, types of products. You know, we, we could really kind of spice around with it. Maybe even make, like, if you wanted to go the extra mile, you could make fuzzy packaging. You know, I've seen that before. And instead of going in this direction, okay, the, the direction of that elevation and that, that more sophisticated kind of vibe where we could really elevate the brand, um, instead we decided to go this way, which I personally, it's, it's actually a little embarrassing. Like, I look at these and I'm like, mm. Like, it makes me, like, I actually, I kind of cringe at it. C cringe slash giggle, okay, who are we kidding? But instead, they decided to go this direction, which I'm convinced when they pitched it to her, they were just like, yo, our idea, okay, hear us out. Um, we see you dressed in all leopard printed everything, which, great start. Uh, super hot start. But we want to see you dressed in all of it, like you're Joe Exotic, but like Joe Exotic circa, like, 1995, when glamour shots at the local drugstore were a thing, and I, I don't know if that was everywhere or just Midwest, I'm not sure but around here we have this thing called glamour shots and you would go in and you they'd be like well what do you want and they'd have like all this shit laid up on the wall and you'd be like oh I want like a leather jacket and they'd say oh you want to make it spicy take your top off and then they put you in this little leather jacket and you would take these photos and don't get me wrong some of them were cute okay like I've seen some cute ones but I think for me the thing that I find the weirdest about this collection is that th 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 this was actually developed in the year 2020 like this isn't like a capsule this isn't meant to be excuse me let's stop it right now um th somebody's trying to talk to me and clearly I have things to say, um, but this this is this, this isn't like a, oh like hey follow me down this road you know like uh, we're going back to 1995 you know it wasn't even designed with that in mind this was quite literally a concept that was curated and developed like in or around the year 2020 like it's a fairly recent you know situation and I'm just it it you you developed something that as a consumer I look at it and I go Ugh. <laughs> and it just I feel all kinds of things and I just don't I don't like it and all of that by the way that's just the packaging. That hasn't even touched on the actual makeup, which I'm not gonna lie doesn't uh, doesn't really speak to me because I feel like with Ky God I just looked at those photos again and especially the one where she's laying down like face down on the fucking on the bed or whatever and she's like with her little hat like stop it may makes me so so oh cringy it makes me cringy because all these photos it's just like her oh and it's like really are we not past maybe it's just me I don't know maybe it's because I'm 31 and I'm having a, like a like a little I don't know an elder moment I don't know but I'm just not feeling it okay so that's the packaging <laughs> covered that also just on, as another side note <laughs> I just made eye contact with her. Um, just as another side note, though, I feel like the color story on this, like, it doesn't, ugh, like, I don't feel any kind of way. It feels very bleh, and I, just, I don't feel like it really speaks to the leopard vibe. Um, I, I mean, I, I guess I can kind of see. Then again, what the hell does? I don't know. But for me, this just doesn't do it. I feel like it reminds me, actually, a lot of her holiday palette she came out with, because um, it has a little blue in there. It's not much, but it's like a slate blue. It's got this bright-ass, vibrant red. It's got some gold. And I just, I don't know. I don't look at it. I don't care about it. I, well, I mean, I really try not to look at it because, again, uncomfortable, but it's just not my thing. You know, it's just, it's, 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 it's a pass, obviously, but mm, makes me weird. Makes me feel weird. Now, moving on to another new item. This one's actually from the drugstore, and it is currently live on the Milani website. This is their new Cheek Kiss Cream Blushes, and I just wanted to say, I, I think I touched on this actually in a video was it last week, I think? Um, it, like, testing new drugstore makeup. I'll link it up here. And, uh, cause yeah, I'm pretty sure it already went up. But I, I talked about this over there and I absolutely plan on picking these up, testing them out at some point. Uh, don't, don't get me wrong. I would prefer to pick them up from Ulta because they're only $8.99 a piece. At least that's what they are on Milani. And, um, I, I only want to pick up like one or two shades cause I definitely don't need them all. Okay. I mean, I, I, I need them in my head, but like practically speaking, I don't need to have them all. So I would rather them come to Ulta. Hopefully they do, or even like a local drugstore. So that way I could pick up one or two without having to pay shipping. You know, that way I can actually get in and out for like $9 plus some tax. Uh, but other than that, you know, I, I, I do like them. I do plan on testing them out. And also, by the way, along those same lines, this is another one I do plan on picking up from e.l.f. And I mentioned it in that drugstore video, but this is their putty blush. And I'm actually pumped to test this out. It says it's a velvety lightweight putty blush that melts into your skin. It's lightweight, but buildable. And it kind of goes from putty to powder, which I'm like, ooh, I want to know all about that. And it says that it is infused with argan oil and vitamin E to give you a natural glowy finish. And it retails for six bucks. And I'm like, okay, I need, need to test that out too. Um, but also just like with the other, I, I would prefer it come to Alta so I don't have to pay shipping. But 
but um, if either of these brands, Milani or e.l.f., if they wanted to drop like some more products really, really right quick here, I wouldn't be upset, you know, or, or adverse to going on their website and picking up all of the new things and doing like, you know, new e.l.f. or new Milani or, you know, new something. Maybe, maybe I just love to do this. Who knows? All right, now next up, let's talk about, uh, uh, well, two things that I did pick up. The first one we're gonna touch on really quickly. This is actually the Naughty Palette by Huda Beauty, and I am freaking excited about this, you guys. I have talked about it, I, well, actually, I feel like I've talked about it over on Instagram and not here one time, but I am actually very, very excited to test this out. I think it is so beautiful. Um, I love the shades. I love that it has more of like that sultry kind of undertone to it, um, and just, I'm, I'm really into it. I love the colors, and the only thing, now, I, I will agree with a lot of people on here, um, the shade, what is that, Slippery? Yeah, that one looks like it has the measles or some kind of like infectious situation. And um, so, the, so that one kind of is, is a little questionable to look at. But my hope is that once I get my little finger in there and I just kind of, you know, I just kind of get rid of it, um, hopefully it'll just be like a weird looking shade all by its own and I won't have to, I won't have to look at the texture anymore because that'll be gone. And even aside from that, like aside from the, the, the weird kind of look to it, um, I am very excited to test out that, um, that shade shade because it's supposed to be, um, they call it on here, a never before seen gloss with encapsulated bronze and berry pearls. And so it's supposed to give you like this, you know, different kind of shine, different kind of texture. And then also to uh, follow up with something that I purchased, uh, guys, I can't even tell you why I did this, but I picked up the um, In the Galaxy eyeshadow palette. Oh, I'm sorry, the Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda eyeshadow palette um, uh, inspired by the Mandalorian series on Disney. And I'm just going to tell you, I think I picked it up on honestly, because the packaging was just so damn cute, and I didn't, I didn't even mean to, to necessarily pick it up, like, obviously, I went, I sat in line, I put my credit card in, yes, 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 okay, that was me, evidently, um, but with this palette, like, I, if, if I separate the packaging, which I do love, I think Baby Yoda is, Baby Yoda, Okay, um, I do, I do think, um, he's absolutely adorable, okay, like, I just want to kiss him, give him a little kissies, but, but, um, I think, aside from that, I actually do enjoy the color story here, I think it is, like, a, a nice kind of soft green-brown moment, which kind of leads me into a more demure, like, camo-type collection, and I'm not upset about that, I actually love pairing, like, brown with green, I think it can give you, uh, again, just a little bit more of that aesthetic, but this one is just a much softer version, so I'm not upset that I purchased it. I just, I don't know. I don't know why, because I'm probably not going to see it for like three months, because ColourPop and their shipping notoriously takes forever. But uh, I did pick it up. I'll let you guys know. Maybe we'll put it in a video or something. Maybe, again, look out on Instagram. But I did pick it up, and I'm, I'm very intrigued, to say the least, at, at how this one's going to pan out. I wanted to briefly touch on the new Makeup by Mario. This is the Holiday 2020 collection from them. And with this collection, I have to say, I think the, I, I wouldn't get the lip palette, because lip palettes really aren't my thing. I like lipsticks, lip liners, and glosses, but I don't typically use a lip palette. I mean, don't get me wrong, it could be good. It's just not my thing. Um, but I do think the glosses are very pretty. I really like that there's kind of like a, a corally gloss in there. I think that would be really beautiful. Um, so, something that down the line I would probably consider maybe picking up one just to test the formula. But along with that, they also launched, um, it looks like three of their eyeshadow quads and then three of their, what are those? Their Pro Pigment Pencils, and I, I'm not against, like, I think the Pro Pigment Pencil has actually does work really well. It has a nice pigmentation to it, and it looks like they released it in a couple of different shades, which I think is nice. They're expanding on the color, and then with the quads, these are going to retail for $25 a piece, and I'm not mad at these. I, I don't think they're anything that I need. Like, I wouldn't pick them up because I do already have both of his master palettes, but if you're someone that was wanting to test them, test the formula. This is definitely a way better route to do it. Again, you can pick up one of these for $25 dollars and test out his um his matte and his shimmer formula versus granted you're only going to get like you know one matte and it looks like three shimmers or something like that um where is it each quad is curated with its own color story vibe and mood they feature a range of long wearing matte metallic and satin finishes and they're super easy to use with your fingers or brushes um yada 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 so i, I think with these like i said it'd be a good route to go if you wanted to test his formula but you didn't or you couldn't put out you know 45 dollars per palette for his pro palettes this would be 
really a nice direction to go in for that. Um, but for me, because I have those, I wouldn't pick these ones up. But I, I would consider the glosses and maybe one of them eye pencils because they look kind of pretty. All right, so I think where I want to do, I just want to end this video. Let me, let me get cozy. Um, I want to end this video by talking about refer or refer brushes. And because they just launched their new holiday brush collection. And this is a kit. It comes with three brushes. They're 23, 24, and 25. And first of all, the 20, I don't, I don't have the 25, which by the way, it is a big old fluffy brush. Okay. It's like this big. It looks gorgeous. Um, I've never tried it, but I can personally vouch for their other brushes because I have received, they've sent me some of them and they are so good. And with these three brushes, I think they might even come in a case, but they're selling you these. They retail for 216 if you were to buy them separately. And they actually lowered that and they're going to be, they're on sale from November 1st through November 8th for $116. And I just wanted to say for $116, the quality of these brushes is absolutely fantastic. If you've never tried refer brushes, uh, they, they are just, they're really good. And I just, I wanted to personally attest to that. And maybe if the holiday collection isn't for you, like it's, you know, it's three brushes, maybe you want just a little bit, you know, a little something more. Um, I would also like to recommend to you their core collection, which has three eyeshadow brushes and two face brushes. And these are absolutely fantastic. And actually, I think these are the ones that they sent me when I first started testing them out. And this collection on their website says it is $168, but they have, I want to say the code is concept store, which of course I'll have everything linked down below. But if you put in that code, it actually takes this from $168 down to $88. Just wanted to throw those out. Whether you wanted to go with the holiday or with the core collection, I just wanted you guys to know, I think they are fantastic. The quality of the brushes is absolutely amazing. Um, and just, it's very consistent too, which is one of the things like that I look for, especially in my brushes. And I've talked about this before. I think it was with like Morphe. Um, I don't like the fact that when you get one brush versus the other, like this one's like super nice and you don't mind it. It, you know, it blends really well. But then over here you get this one and it feels so scratchy and so awful. And that's like, I can't stand that kind of inconsistency because then not only have you wasted my money, but you've wasted my time. And I have to sit here and try to blend out this look with, you know, something that feels like a damn hay brush. And I can't really, I can't really get behind that. Like I said, with Refer, they're just not like that. They are very consistent. The, the application and the, the actual crafting process that goes into these brushes, you can tell that they were made a certain way and that they were actually made with care and sophistication. And I just, I wanted to throw it out there, you know, just kind of round everything out. If you're looking at them, you've been kind of on the fence. I'll have everything linked down below, but I do highly, highly recommend them. They're just, they're really good. And the people that own it are, um, are just really fantastic. So I'm going to put that there. Um, and you know, obviously you guys can check out everything down below. Anyways, you guys, I think that that is everything. I tried to go through and uh, really touch on a lot of different things and kind of kind of just like a skipping stone, just, whoop, 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 just dash across all the different subjects. So I want to hear from you down below in the comments. What do you think? Did we cover anything you're interested in? Anything you're going to be checking out? Um, is there is there anything, you know, that maybe that maybe I should be paying a little special attention to? Anything I didn't talk about? Or, or you know, maybe just the video. Do you like the video? Is this still your style? Are you into them? Just leave me all of your thoughts, general opinions, you know, comments, whatnots down below. And like I said at the start, you guys can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram. And I think that that is everything. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ow, ow. My eyes are leaking. <laughs> oh, that's not going to work. I need to actually clean these with some kind of cleaner because they are nasty. They're dirty. Ooh, too dirty to clean my act up. <sighs>